As the real estate professional, it's important to help your first time home buyers understand the cost of not owning their own home, reasons why they should buy. Home prices and interest rates are gonna rise. Many renters would like to own, but they think they can't afford the down payment or won't qualify for the mortgage. A lot of times people think that they qualify for less and they qualify for more. So for a good percentage of this, it, them it may be true, but for many, this may just be a state of mind or the lack of knowledge about the home buying process. So it's up to us to educate them. Buyers get more for their money than renters, and renters may think that they have to save to put 20% down payment or that they won't qualify for a mortgage. Well, here's the proof from the experts that owning is financially better than renting. Number one, home ownership is a form of forced savings. Number two, home ownership provides tax savings as well. Number three, home ownership allows the buyer to lock in their monthly housing costs. And number four, owning is cheaper in the long run depending on the break even point in your area. Number five, the money put into home improvements including furnishings is adding value to the landlord, not the renter. Number six, studies have shown that a homeowner's net worth is 44 times greater than that of a renter. Number seven, a family that purchased an average priced home at the beginning of 2017 can build more than $48,000 in family wealth over the next five years. Number eight, some argue that renting eliminates the cost of taxes and home repairs, but every potential renter must realize that all the expenses the landlord incurs are already baked into the rental payment along with the profit margin. Owning a home has always been better financially than renting, so encourage them to talk with a mortgage professional who knows the loan products for first time home buyers down payment assistance programs, and the benefits of government-backed programs like FHA, USDA, VA loan. Now for minding your own business. All right, hey, today let's talk about ROI, return on investment. You've tried so many marketing gimmicks and nothing seems to work. Measuring a return on investment in marketing is key, but it's definitely not clear cut. In this age of technology, ROI to the marketing pro, it's like finding the holy grail. Here's a couple of keys that you wanna think about. Number one, timing of knowing when to measure. The money you invest today may not deliver for a while, six months, a year, maybe even two years, depending on the type of marketing. So before investing, understand the expectations. Number two, multiple touches. Doing it once ain't gonna work. Proverbial marketing wisdom says at least seven touches are needed in order to convert cold leads into a sale. So it may be a combination of the number of marketing campaigns that move the needle for that customer. Measuring one single strategy such as marketing on Zillow can be fairly simple. If you've spent $500 per month for two years and have had one lead convert into a buyer and you made $12,000 commission, you broke even. Look at each marketing strategy with a critical eye and know what it is really costing you. Keep in mind that most marketing strategies include multiple campaigns and take months or years to realize a true return on investment. You don't want to quit right before it pays off. That's this week's Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for joining me again and have a great week.